What's up guys? We got the new Campo drop. It's live. We got new shirts, the championship ring shirt, the all team t-shirt. As you can see how it looks on my guys here. We got the new shorts just in time for the summer. And we got plenty of different colorways. The website is live. We have a discount code that you can get two items and you get a 15% discount. The code is CF2023. Use that at checkout. Yeah, man, just go cop that, man. We've been working real hard. To get this different quality, man. We got the tags on there and everything. Yes, this ain't no, this ain't a hang shirt, man. Yes, go sir. get that. We yes, work real sir. hard on these. Website's yes, live. Cardio family! So this is supposed to be, I guess, like the president lady of like who is control and I ain't gonna say control the LGBTQ but like she is the president basically of the gender all Kelly Robinson so you wanna see so she's advocating for human rights. Yes. Let's just go ahead and get into the video. There everybody know how we feel already. We just we wanted to see I this feel debate. Like violating human I just rights. want to see like I genuinely violating <laughs> I genuinely need to like human see rights. their point. So that's why these videos are just so interesting. Oh yeah Ted and go off oh, Ted, get this Crazy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It was another guy went crazy, too. Title IX was a landmark civil rights law. It helped create the incredible breadth of women's sports and girls' sports that we see across the country. I believe in girls' sports. I believe in women's sports. I'm the proud father of two daughters who are both athletes. I think participating in competitive sports is a wonderful thing for a young girl. I think it is a wonderful thing for a woman. And I think, unfortunately, today's Democrat Party has decided that women's sports and girls' sports no longer matters. And they're willing to push radical oh, legislation. Is we gonna blame blame it on the party, though? Is it just, yes, the party, 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 that is crazy. Like, think about California. Okay, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, y'all yeah, don't think it's the people you vote fighting for it, and the Democrats are just trying to gain their vote, and they're just siding with them. Well, therefore, they be that supporting the theory of being the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, unfortunately, today's Democrat Party has decided that women's sports and girls' sports no longer matters, and they're willing to push radical legislation designed to destroy girls sports and women's sports. Ms. Gaines, I want to thank you for your courage. Cruise. You are relatively young, but you have demonstrated incredible courage. And because you have dared to speak up, you have been demonized, you have been vilified. I saw when you were attacked by a leftist mob at San Francisco State University for daring to speak up. You had an incredible record as a swimmer at the University of Kentucky. You were a two-time NCAA All-American. You were Whoa. a five-time SEC champion. You were a, you're an SEC record holder and a two-time Olympic trial qualifier. So what? But yet on March 27th, 2022, something changed. What happened on March, 20, uh, on March 17th, 2022? That's when Thomas and I raced in the 200 freestyle and again resulted in a tie. It's not and so you tied, what, what was the consequence of time? We went behind the awards podium where typically you're handed your trophy, you're marched out, you're named an All-American. And so we go back there and the official looks at both Thomas and myself and says, great job, but you guys tied. And we only have one trophy, therefore we're giving this trophy to Leah. And I question this and I say, why? And at first I, I shortened it in my testimony, but really he stumbled on his words. He didn't know how to answer this. And at first he's, uh, well, we're just doing this in chronological order. To which I further pressed and I said, okay, well, what are you being chronological about? Because we tied. And if we're doing this off alphabetical order, G comes before T, so what are you being chronological about? To which this wasn't a script that wait, I prepared wait, for him. Wait, 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 wait. They gave the other person the trophy. Yeah. The trans? Yeah. Okay, okay. So they tied. Yeah. And they get, and they so she's hit. sliding. She's a beast. She's sliding with she's a dude. Kind of man. She didn't tie them. And they said, we're gonna give bro the trophy. Because That's crazy. He's brave. I did not know that happened. I didn't that know that happened either. So That's horrible. That is horrible. <laughs> I, 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 so I can chronological I would be so high. I can pull so the out of high school. Is that awarded as an act of bravery? Yes. yes. Apparently, in our society. Remember they said, uh, Caitlyn Jenner was like, I The woman of the year. year. Yeah, they said she was like one of the bravest people of all time. That's <laughs> when, I mean, that we is, got, we got. Does this. that make, but I mean, that is a question. Does War that make you it could kind of make you brave, but it doesn't make you weak. What is it? I can't say it doesn't make you weak. I can't it does take some bravery, so I mean, it takes. Uh, but mean, then it is come sometimes a lot of other things that take a lot more bravery than that. 
That is true. Her, her, being a, her being a dog. And for them to give a trophy to a man. That is against time. And that's against, well, he said title. I, his, I forgot about it. That's that so crazy. Johnson in the water. Wow. <laughs> that is crazy, no, oh, bro. I, uh, I did not know that happened. It's Johnson. It's no way that Man, happened. That is going against Title Nine. That's crazy. That's really sorry. Because like you won't have a certain amount of boys sports because you got to have conversation for the like, women. Yeah. So like, is it gonna mess up at all? That's gonna mess everything up. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. That is crazy. It gets worse. And he actually appreciated his honesty. He did say, "We have to give the trophy for Leah because." We, Leah has to have it for pictures. They, they've made that clear. Leah has to have the trophy for pictures. Hmm. You can pose with this trophy, but you have to give yours back. You have to go home empty handed. Leah Thomas takes the trophy home. End of story. Oh, I will. Whoa, I agree. Agree. No, Someone no, 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 at the no, elite level. No, no, I will be livid. No cap. In your experience, is, she this, get second, is there a difference between women and men? Of course. I think we learned this at a very young age watching even 12 and unders play. Going through puberty causes irreversible um, advantage that no matter the training, no matter the diet, no matter any alterable um, change you can make will overcome that male advantage, especially in sports like swimming where lung capacity matters so much. Um, even something as silly as throat size, men have on average a 40% larger throat, which sounds like it's nothing. But when you're grasping for air, that 40% larger throat makes a huge difference in athletic success, not to mention height. Um, you guys know the differences. Yeah, Ms. Robinson, do you agree with me? We will be we with me a professional sport right now if we just say, you know what? I'm going to be a girl. I will quite literally choose one. I will literally, literally be the <laughs> world record holder. <laughs> oh, yeah. You choose track, it would be crazy. Yeah, oh, track. we all chose track, it would be crazy. We would be out there for the show. We have a show getting the man. literal world record holder. Yeah, he would be a world record holder. I'm going to have to scrap. <laughs> I ain't going to cap the girls beside What's the women's world record? I mean, hey, it's one thing. But I'll mean, get down there if That's I That's the women's world record? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to have to get down there. Wow. But I mean, you win at Olympics probably 157, 156. You might win at Olympics 155. 155 win. That's impressive. I'm winning. And we're not just saying that, y'all. No, no, this would be, that's why it's just not fair. Like, it's it's a, just a stat you look at. Not fair. So, uh, it is You just crazy. look at boys and girls track. The times just says it all. Height. Um, you guys know the difference. She comes from facts, though. Ms. Robinson, do you agree with Ms. Gaines that there's a difference between women and men? If the question is oh. about trans women... I'm just asking, is there a difference between women and men? Well, what I can say here is that the NCAA has rules in place. They've had rules in place for the last decade. Well, and this competition. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try again. The rules were clear. Do you believe there's a difference? I like Ted. I like Ted. It, it's a yes, no question. It, is, it, do you believe there's a difference? Oh, I think that we're talking about this case with the NCAA. No, I'm asking a question. Do you believe there's yes, a difference no. between women and men? Most think, people could answer this very simply. I'm curious if you're willing to do so. Oh, absolutely. I'm just putting it into the context of is the that conversation yes? that we're having. I think that there are definitions is, related is, to is, sex. Is, is that a yes? So I'm trying happened. to get a yes or no. I'm not trying to get, get a speech. <laughs> uh, is there a, diff is a so difference funny. between women and men? I think that there are definitions for biological sex. Okay, so you're not answering that. Let me gender. ask you this question then. Why do women's sports exist? If you can't define a difference between women and men, why not abolish women's sports and just tell little girls to swim with little boys and see who wins? Oh, I'm simply saying that um, that sex My question, and gender, why and I do, do believe why that women's, do women's sports, sports have a great exist? value. I mean, Senator, I'll tell you Ms. Right Robinson, now. please answer the question I'm asking you. Absolutely. Why do women's sports exist? Yes. I think that there are so many positive benefits to sports. But I mean, why have a separate <laughs> category for women? <laughs> if, if, if there's no difference between women and men, why to have women's sports? I'm saying that there's a difference between sex and gender, and that the NCAA. Possible, possible. What? No, that, that I don't think, yeah. But I don't think when these people, whenever she's arguing, there's no way that she thinks that she's winning. Hold on now. She has to know she's getting cooked. She, she cannot believe this actually in a bed. She might get paid. Listen to me, listen to me. There's a difference between sex and gender. She actually an embarrassment. How is that even possible? How is that even what logical? She, what does she mean by that? How is that even a logical it, it, answer? This is annoying. This is so annoying to watch. Oh my uh, god. A difference between just, sex and gender. I, I can't believe it. I didn't hear it all at this point. I didn't hear it all for a while. The justification for this type of it stuff just, is just, it's just never logical. It just never, it it's, is, it it never is. makes any sense to anybody. Like, why can't we just use logical, factual, data, and science? To answer this question this is, and make it fair to everyone. I ain't gonna lie. If they do, if they do do this, they might as well just say yes. That's Ted is right. If they do something like this, they might as well just say no. Yeah, everybody. This is no. 
no, 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 at this point, that's what they might as well do. If this is going to be your justification and answer to the question, that's what you might as well do. You might as well just say, women's sports no longer exist, men versus women. That's what you might as well do. Because it, it, it's literally exactly what happened. And then the girl who had an, uh, what's the word? Like she just had a decorated career, got the short end of the stick. I just yeah. don't, I don't think that's fair, personally. Either I way, I don't there, support I, uh, it is bad because either way, the transgender is going to lose regardless. Because if you come to the men, you're going to get smashed. If you go to the, you go to the women and win, everybody going to say you a, a P word. I just personally don't think that's fair, bro. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair. You a trans. Oh, I mean, you, everybody's going to look down. The only thing is that well, if you trans, just what you ever religion, like whatever you first was, that's what you can be. They will get smashed, though. Well, you can't do that because they're gonna get smashed. They're gonna be on hormones. They're gonna get smoked. That's, that's on that's them. Cool. That's what you chose to do, though. Now you make your bed. You, you express you yourself compete. how you want to compete, and you can compete. You make your bed. You Everybody play. wins. Because as a man, uh, competitor, personally, I think that's fair. I ain't gonna go too far with it. But you get on any type of field with me, it's gonna get smashed. Like I've seen a girl play football. Backwood. It's gonna get smashed. It is football. Sport. It's what it was bad. I'm talking about, I'm nah, talking about nah, NCAA. Nah. Oh. With Andre. Oh, we oh, on the line. Oh. But you like, you see, but you'll come on a slant. Safety gonna come. <laughs> 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 Next Ooh. thing you know, the ambulance is gonna be on the field. Uh, uh, some point, yeah, at some point in the future, when our children are in college, we're gonna, if they don't do something about this now, we're gonna be dealing with the repercussions on our children. And it's gonna kill sports. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is going to kill sports as we know it, I guarantee it. Women's crazy. sports, for sure, is gonna die. That'd be trash. If they allow this to continue. I ain't gonna lie, I can see why somebody could say this is almost like communism. I just, I'm sorry, I just feel like we have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> Everybody, boy, we, we have, have to draw the line somewhere. Is it Juana, man? Boy, it's gonna be a girl that's gonna be so different, bro. Not a girl, a man. I promise you, if I, I just watched mm, the movie too. If if I if mm. I'm my child is playing against, I'm gonna be the head of the booster club. But look, we're not playing. I will not boost this team. See, if y'all allow this team to come in our stadium and play. Trying to hit a 360 windmill. Oh my god, <laughs> it's gonna be uh, ugly. They say this might go up though. For women. I'm saying that there's a difference between okay sex women's and women's gender, women's and that the NCAA yeah. has rules in place, which they have for the so last decade. Mr. Chairman, I, I would like to enter the record an, an article from Duke, Duke Law called Comparing Athletic Performances to the Best Elite Women to Boys and Men. And it goes through examining in 2017 the top records for women in the world in various track and field events. So, for example, in the 100 meter, the top record for women in the world was. 10.71 seconds. Now, that record for the number one woman in the world in 2017 was in the year 2017 broken by 124 boys under 18. In that same year, the record for the number one competing woman in, in, in the 100 yard, 100 meter dash in the world was broken by a total of 2,474 men. Come on, if the radical Democrat yeah. agenda to destroy it's girls' sports and women's sports succeeds, Little girls will well, not have a chance to right. compete, so I ask unanimous consent that this article be entered into the record. Without objection, Senator Padilla. Yeah, yes like, or no? Sure. Oh no, no, they're not. They're not at the house. They're uh, somewhere else. I don't know where they are. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like that. Uh, uh, Kelly Robinson. I don't support you, Kelly. Me I'm not a fan of yours. Me oh, I just, I just don't. I don't. I don't support you. As a woman, I don't understand how you can sit by and allow this. I feel like you have to. You have to take an objective approach. And really look at this and see that it's not fair to biological women. It's not it's fair. Not fair. Bro, you, we have to, as an athlete, you know, it's years and years of bro. physical, mental, hey. all type of preparation that goes into these moments. On athletes. And they're taking it away. She's getting the check. She probably don't even believe in herself. And there's no way so, that they can believe this. She's there's getting no the way. Bag. It must she, be another agenda. You might be right, bro. She, she probably has got to be another agenda. She, 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 there's she, no way that they actually believe this. She's an actual clown, bro. You're an actual clown. It brings money. Content brings money. So her, the, 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 the transgender girl taking a trophy, somebody made a video of that. Bring it. Could, I think it's just like, they're, I ain't gonna say they don't get part of it. You know, they could, this would be a money hungry thing, man. In Durban, ranking member Graham and members of the committee, my name is Kelly Robinson. I use she, her pronouns. I'm proud to serve as president of the Human Rights Campaign, mm. our nation's largest <laughs> civil rights organization working to achieve full equality for That's lesbian, it. gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer people across That's the country. Right, Thank you for inviting me to submit testimony at this important hearing. Stop it for a second. Well, On behalf of HRC's more than 3 million members and supporters, I've come here today with a single message. The LGBT people, LGBTQ plus people of the United States are living in a state of emergency. Uh, we gotta find that guy. It's well, raining rainbows. We I mean, are not discrimination laws out here. So. I'm just confused on what the emergency is. 
I feel like I feel like gay people have all the exact same rights as regular people, but now they're trying to just get more and more and more and more. Like they're trying to just. I, just, my age, I personally just think like they have the same rights as everyone else. I, am I wrong in that assumption? Yeah. Only people that's that's, our, that's my that, point of view. Like the women are an emergency and our kids are an emergency. That's it. I just personally think that in my experience, human experience, I feel like they have the same exact rights and opportunities as everyone else. Yeah, there's no discrimination against well, well you can't I don't know how they you I mean how they looking at it. I, I would like to know what the emergency is. Like I'm literally I'm, like, I'm not trying to dismiss what she said. I literally just would like someone to explain what yeah. the emergency is. They still they still feel like they're getting right. discriminated because they want to be treated like girls. I think they're discriminating women by doing that. Yes, yeah. yes, but see and, and I understand what they want, right? But like we cannot give them what they want at the expense of biological women. Yeah, you can't I feel like yeah, the only way for them to get what they want is you have to get a trans lead, or they have yeah. to, or they can be barred from competing. That's the only way to keep it all yeah. the way fair. Yeah, yeah I agree. That's, you can't play sports. I'm sorry, it's not fair to them because you're physically yeah. and genetically Better. your DNA yeah. a man. Yeah, your brain works different. Your body works different. Everything's different. I'm it's sorry. Not I'm, even like, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to dismiss yeah. trans people. No, 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 no it's not even a thing to me. But I, it's science, bro. It's I'm just going off the right. facts and logic here. That's that's what I use when I make decisions. If you ever watch track, track will tell you it all. Yeah, we, we all ran track. track. That's so bad. Yeah, look, but it will tell you all. No, you they know, got videos. Bro, bro. That's girls in college. That makes me like. That's girls in college running what I ran in seventh grade, bro. Fifty four. I'll be the world record 55. holder in the one hundred. In the two hundred. Oh my god. What's the four hundred world record? For what? Wait, wait, wait. It's like forty eight, forty nine, forty seven. I thought it was like forty nine. I think it's actually forty seven. No one foul. I would have everywhere where we're probably have an eight, and I'm gonna get them all. I think the women's world record is 47. It's not some German one. Yeah, it might be. She's probably like 47 7. Uh, she was yeah. choppy. I don't know if this is Wally Games. She was choppy. <laughs> she was choppy. I don't know if this is Wally Games or Mr. Kennedy. I don't know. But he destroys the same woman. I want to see his point. Hey, I think that's the uh, Louisiana. Nah. Hey, boy, girl. Now, let's go back to the that is him. difference between Bro, the men and the women. Bro, that's the governor of Louisiana, of the senator. All right, let's go back to the to the bio. It's called crackhead. Male, female, Why boy, are girl. Discussing okay. this shit, Biological. Do males have an advantage over females biologically in sports? Again, I'm not a physician, and I I can't speak to that. What's your real world? <laughs> Um, it depends. I mean, there are some people who are born male that I'm faster than if I were to sprint against them and some that I'm not. Some males that are so taller than some that women and some that are shorter. You don't believe that a biological male has a physical advantage in sports over a biological female? Not as a, a definitive statement. What? <laughs> well, no, I, I don't think... This is crazy. How, 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 how many female members of the NBA do you see? Well, I can say that, you know, there's been this news article about men that think that they could beat Serena Williams in tennis, right? That's foolish. They, think they, that they cannot. They actually score a point on her. Um, but the bro is just not smash the her. She is stronger. Serena than Williams, Williams is the best. Oh, Male, female. Both Serena and Venus lost to the 230 best 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 player, player, which they're saying? phenoms oh. for women. Serena and Venus. Yes. What's your experience, a Ben? Clown, Male, female. Both Serena and Venus lost to the 203rd ranked male tennis player, which they're phenoms for women. Um, my experience, my husband, he swam at University of Kentucky as well. In terms of accolades and in terms of national ranking, I was a much better swimmer than him. Um, yeah, he could kick my butt any day of the week way. without trying. It's okay. true. Yeah. I, I, I just think, Ms. Robinson, I'm, just, I th I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. <laughs> I think you lose a lot of credibility. There's all when you don't concede that a, a biological male ha has physical advantages over a biological female, I, I mean, I just think that's a proven fact, and you really hurt your credibility. I understand you you want the world to be a better place. I do too. Yeah, he's I don't genuinely think like people are messed up. I understand. Me too. Because of an immutable characteristic, I don't. And I, I think that, uh, I think everybody ought to be free to be themselves. And what you do in your bedroom or what I do in my bedroom with a consenting adult is nobody's business. Facts. But if what I do in, in, a, in, in my bedroom with a consenting adult, if I decide I want to tell somebody's child about it, then, I, then other people have rights too. And I think parents have rights. 
I agree. And I think biological females have rights to be able to compete fairly in sport in, 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 in sports. So I, I really I really think you hurt your credibility when you refuse to acknowledge that biological males have an advantage over biological females. It kind of makes me wonder about all your testimony. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sorry. Hey, he seems so funny. I, Thank you, Chairman. I, I, what I'm trying to say is that there is not a definitive advantage in all cases. What? Sir, I don't know if you believe that you could beat Serena Williams in tennis. Why does she keep talking I about Serena? I think that that's not the case. You're a there are not all cases where all men are physically superior to all women. And at the end of the day, in this conversation, we're not talking about that. We're talking That's about trans women cases. who are, in fact, women. We're who deserve to play in a gender that matches their sports. Who deserve all the benefits that this game is talking about. And as a cisgender black woman, I can say oh, definitively that my group <laughs> is not threatened by sorry, transgender. I'm sorry, that one more time. Through that matches their sports, who deserve all the benefits that Miss Gaines is talking about. And as a cisgender black woman, I can say definitively that my womanhood is not threatened by a transgender person asserting hers as well. Can we pause this real quick? Yeah, that person. Why is she just trying to say cisgender black? Like, why? Why? Why does it matter that you're black? First of all, it doesn't matter. Second of all, you're a liar. Like, Don't cis mean you straight. Oh, yes, it means you're you, you, you identify with the gender. It means you're normal. Yes. Second off. Um, why is she saying? I didn't mean to say that. I didn't why say. is she saying that there's no definitive proof? There's definitive, literal proof. There's literal right. science behind this. Right. It's facts. I got a question. I'm sorry. She just loses all credibility, man. I just yeah. don't respect you. I don't even want to breathe the same air as you. This yeah. one is gonna mess me up. Wiping our IDs. Start saying sis. <laughs> like you know, I said sis. I'm they say C M. <laughs> no, no, no. We see that map. All this side of the continent of the, the world. The just West. Least, yeah. We all believe in West transgender. Church. It was all blue. So they all believe in transgender and they don't. I mean, gay, being gay is legal, basically. And on the right side, it's illegal, basically. And now we're going out like they killing it. He, she. Okay, you only ain't here. He ain't go for it. So I just like, don't think, I don't, I don't understand why she just said a trans woman is a woman and they deserve the same rights. They don't. I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't think you don't deserve rights, but in this aspect, you're a man. You have the man's DNA. You're physically stronger than a woman. You don't deserve the, the right to compete. I'm sorry. It's just not fair. I, I it's not fair. And I think we are women who have put the time and work in to get to that certain level, the respect and, the, and rights to compete against yeah, other women. But all this freedom that we have. It's not. All this freedom that we have is like the reason we have all this confusion. I think all the freedom we have is why we're getting to this point. I think we've given an inch and now they're trying to take that's that. another mile. Game the with the you're starting to see people uh, 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 put their foot down with the Bud Light issue getting going. The people, uh, they're going down, talking about it. Yeah. It's all type of stuff, bro. I'm still messed up. Like She's for human rights, but and she's like going against somebody. Right. She Lord. said, me as a cisgender black woman doesn't see a problem. We're going to end it with this clip. We're going to end it with this Why does it matter that you're a sissy? Yeah. Yeah. We've seen it. Well, I don't know. Let's say you okay. would be the... I was hoping you'd say All right, feminine. <laughs> and, and me. Even you. Oh. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, it's funny because Andy Murray, he oh, he was been joking about um, myself and him playing a match. And I'm like, Andy, seriously, like, are you kidding me? Because for me, tennis and men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. So I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0, 6-0 in five to six minutes, maybe 10 minutes, because... <laughs> well, we're going to do with that clip, right? And that is the go. She kept saying, well, Serena Williams, Serena Williams, Serena Williams, I'm sure Serena Williams does not being appreciated in that ignorant conversation, because Serena Williams is a woman who has been to the highest level, and I don't think she wants to compete against biological men. I'm she sure Serena Williams will put her foot down. Let her be the go. She go there and smash her bag. And she was trying to boy. And she's and she's trying to use Serena Williams in an argument. Boy, if I was Serena, I would sue that woman. No, I'm, I'm dead. I'm a sewer. You're not you're using my name without my consent to defend your idiocy. I think it's literally like talking to a wall at this point. You're defending me. It's, it's not you know that picture of the meme where dudes talking to the brick wall? There's really no reason to keep discussing this. This is not an argument. I don't think they see what this everybody else sees. I think they genuinely do see it, but I think they just, I don't know what they see. I'm not going to say, is this, is this considered? There must be an agenda, bro. I'm, I'm messed up. God, dude. Lord, forgive me. Is this considered like almost like on some mental illness type of level at this point? It gotta be. Bro. I don't want to say it's mental illness, bro. I, I just don't see the point. Because we in the high mental. Because I mean, like, you have 
the right to think how you want to, like your mind. You know, we don't want how people. No, we're not saying to be trans. I'm not saying to be trans. Yeah. I'm saying to believe to justify that this. a man is not physically superior to a woman in sports yeah, that is, is mental illness. To believe that right there. That's why we get some strong ass women out here. Women can be strong and they can. Yeah, but we're talking for the most part, y'all. We all know. I'm just saying, if I if I put put me in any women's suit or anything and go it's out cool. there, I will feel pretty bad yeah, it's myself. Cause I know what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> in that situation, two thirty. Right. Like, imagine MMA, bro. Yeah. Imagine you play. No, MMA. No, I think I might probably can do something with MMA. No, but I understand. I'm just thinking about all the women that just so when guys don't guys to, fights. Guys to open the door and guys to move furniture and you know what I'm saying? We don't ask. Chivalry? You talk about chivalry? I actually worked at a professional moving company and all the women in the company worked in the front office. All the men, you're in the warehouse. Cause that's what it's about. That's, I mean, who's in there moving furniture? They, the women drivers, would call the men to come help. <sighs> they were boy. If it was a woman driver and she needed us to load the truck, we load the truck. Yeah. She dropping something off, we have to go meet her at the drop off. This makes me sick, man. Okay, guys, y'all let us know what y'all think about this in the comments, guys. If y'all like Ted Cruz and Mr. Kennedy there, how do y'all feel about uh, the other lady that we've seen? Uh, right here, here's on Instagram.